really lucked out this afternoon during the baseball game because storms stayed well to the east, well to the west, but that's not the case anymore. We've been tracking this one cluster of storms. You see how it kind of comes together and moves to the west. That's what we're dealing with right now here in the heart of Baton Rouge. We actually captured the storms rolling in of just about an hour ago as we were starting to get the winds picking up, the temperatures dropping because of a gust front. Watch, you saw that shelf cloud moving in, hasn't even rained but temperatures dropped about 10, deg 10 degrees and picked up the winds within about 20 minutes. And you see just following that, then the rain arrived. So dark, ominous skies, then we saw all the rain come. And so again, when you saw Brian earlier, winds were starting to pick up and then the rain held off for about 20 minutes. And now it's raining and we have a couple of lightning uh, bolts starting to pop up on the radar. Total strikes within the last 10 minutes or so so only about two, but thankfully the storms are weakening, although still producing some lightning. Here's a look at the Viper radar along I-55 at the moment between Kentwood and Independence. Just some plain rain storms are sub severe and over the next hour you'll see they'll track to the west and weaken as they do so, but we likely won't be totally rain free until after sunset. About 70 degrees, as I mentioned, temperatures drop like a rock as that gust front moves moved in. So you have that cool air moving in and it reaches the surface and then we cooled things off and winds picked up. So about 70 now southeast winds at 11 miles per hour, but it is a mess out there. Just make sure you take proper precautions if you are about to get on the road, but rain chances will come to an end and temperatures overnight will be in the 60s. So even though we've cooled now, we'll likely warm a couple of degrees once the rain uh, exits and then we'll cool again overnight. The weather setup on Tuesday rain coverage is going to be decent tomorrow going to be elevated. We'll have all this low level moisture moving in off the Gulf and then we'll have an upper level system starting to trigger the showers and thunderstorms mainly during the peak heating of the day and the best chance for rain as of now looks to be closer to the coast, but it's going to be hot and humid before the storms arrive. Storms will begin to pop up mainly in the afternoon evening and they could be on the strong side. Now we're not under a formal uh, risk for severe weather, but similar to today, a couple of storms may be on the strong side through tomorrow. Our feels like temperatures will be in the 90s and then rain chances will increase more so after lunchtime after one o'clock or so rain chances start to come down Wednesday and Thursday, but notice our temperatures will start to go up and our feels like temperatures may be in the triple digits as well. So future track shows most of the rain holding off at least until lunch time and you see how they quickly bubble up again closer to the coast, but they could start to drift inland. Not going to see much movement with these, maybe about five to 10 miles per hour. So we'll have to watch out for some localized flash flooding, those low lying areas. Then by Wednesday, just some spotty summertime pop up thunderstorms, but we'll keep rain chances at least a little elevated for now. But as I mentioned, temperatures will start to go up as rain chances start to go down this weekend. We're looking at highs in the mid 90s, but we could have at least somewhat drier of air move in and that would mean our feels like temperatures won't be too outrageous, maybe in the mid and upper 90s instead of the triple digits. Next week looks to be mostly dry.